This is my hardcore Iron Man that cannot leave PvP worlds. The account got one major goal and that is obtaining an infernal cape. This series could end at any point and if you are the one to kill my hardcore Iron Man, you will receive the bounty on screen. If there is anything I have learned from motivational videos, then it's gotta be that your biggest competition is yourself. Two years ago I had a PvP hardcore Iron Man and I have always been wanting to beat it when it comes to weapons, armor and levels. And today, as I hit 1601 total level, I have beaten my old PvP hardcore's total level. Look at them both next to each other, this is my new one and this is my old one. So now that I have beaten the total level of my old hardcore Iron Man, it's time to beat it when it comes to gear, combat level and other stuff. Alright, we got a medium casket to start off the video. We get purple sweets. Alright, first barrel chest of today. We get nothing. Nothing. For nothing. For nothing. Nothing. And I get nothing. Nothing. So my collection log from Barrows is quite good. I have gotten 8 items in 98 chests. However, I haven't gotten any 2 good items. I got the Aram's Top and the Aram's Tap, which is good, but the rest are quite crap. In the last episode, I did complete the quest Lunar Diplomacy. So to get to the island quickly, I need to unlock it in my house. There we go, Lunar Isle. We got a Lunar Isle power though. Ever since I unlocked the Lunar Spellbook, I can use spells such as Super Glass Make. It creates molten glass very quickly and it can be done safely in a safe zone. And you all know I like to stay safe and protected, that's why I use NordVPN, which also happens to be today's video sponsor. With NordVPN, all your internet data stays safe behind a wall of next generation encryption. NordVPN allows us to change our IP address, giving us an extra layer of security. And just recently, NordVPN VPN released a new feature, Threat Protection. Threat Protection steps up your cybersecurity, and once activated, it protects you from malicious sites, downloads, trackers, and intrusive ads. Threat Protection is constantly on the lookout even if you're not connected to a VPN. You can download NordVPN using my link nordvpn.com slash cengineer, link in the description down below. And by changing IP address with NordVPN, you also get worldwide access to enjoy hundreds of streaming websites worldwide. Choose from over 5,400 servers in 59 different countries. Enjoy the internet with no limits or borders. If you use my link, you will get a two-year plan at a huge discount plus one month for free. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. Once again, nordvpn.com slash cengineer, link in the description down below. So there's a new thing the PvP community have discovered. You can do soul wars in PvP worlds as a duo, and then you can buy these spoils of war. And from these spoils of war, there are some great rewards, but what I am looking for is add the bolts. And I can buy, I think it's seven, yeah, I can buy seven right now. Look, can we get any add the bolts? Yeah, 300 add bolts, just like that. <laughs> Beautiful. Here we go, another seven chest. Can we get some runite or add the bolts? Oh, that's a lot of added bolts. Nice, thank you. So now that we have 787 added bolts, we need to turn them into ruby and diamond bolts. Meaning we need 65 fletching. We're gonna do some temple tracking for bowstrings. And uh, to make it efficient, we're gonna make a solve graveyard teleport in our house. And there we go, 500 bowstrings. Took me 10 minutes. Last inventor of Willow Oaks, and that's 500. And that is 63, we can now make our first bolt, ruby bolts. And there we go, our first ruby bolts E have been made. 64 fletching, 73 woodcutting, and finally 65 fletching. Uh, we can now make diamond tipped added bolts. And look at that, we can now officially make diamond bolts. I'm probably gonna use this for some boss, I don't know what boss I'm gonna do with this, but this opens up a lot. And these are the bolts I'm gonna use at Inferno as well, together with the ruby bolts I just made. I just wanna quickly show you the loot from Soul Wars crates, uh, also known as Spoils of War. 2.1 million in worth of items. This is disgusting. I don't see how this is actually a thing in game as well. This is so overpowered for hardcore Iron Man. All right, another Vershes, 99 kill count for nothing. Who was that? Seed West, um, <laughs> for nothing, 100 kill count. Quite an achievement, 100 kill count on a PvP hard crime man. Uh, casual editing and that is 87 range. 
Okay. How did he know? I don't know if you remember this quest. Grim Tales, I killed a lot of rats in this basement. And I can now finally complete this quest. And there we go, Grim Tales has been completed. And we got this brand new Dwarven Helmet. I don't think it's ever gonna be useful. Right, I'm trying to be one of those efficient agility trainers with high alts. That's 59 agility. Mr. AFK -ere. About to be Mr. Dead AFK. -ere. <laughs> it's a group Iron Man. Oh, glory. I think this is a level 80 farming, maybe. Yep, there we go. 80 farming. We did not get the bucket, sadly. I think it was in the last episode I tried to make a spirit seed sapling, but it died. So now I have to remake it, and thank god I have a garden pie, so we can make it once again. Now, in two days, we'll find out if it's dead or if we successfully made a spirit tree. It is time to start a new quest line. And we're going to the desert by starting It's Sharon's Little Helper. Oh, well, there we go. It's Sharon's Little Helper have been completed. Another quest have been completed. Contact. From this quest, we get a lot of experience and hit points. 7k times 2. 14,000 experience and hit points. Very nice. I think this is us completing the quest Spirits of the Elite. Yes. 8k prayer experience and access to Narda's shrine. If you didn't know, if you pray at the Lydness statuette after completing this quest, it restores your hit points, special attack, run energy, prayer potions, and cures poison. There is gonna be a use for this. Next quest on the list, Enakra's Lament. Enakra's Lament has been completed. We got a camelet. We can teleport to Enakra's Lament right here. So now that we have completed those two quests, we can finish the medium diaries for desert. All the medium tasks for desert area have been completed. Boom, uh, we have gotten ourselves a desert amulet that can teleport us somewhere. Right here, beautiful. Oh, n right next to the altar as well. And then we got the antique lamp as well. Straight to her floor, beautiful, 7.5k. Yeah, of course, let's not forget our weekly tears of good eggs, some rune crafting. We need those levels. Thank you. From 39 to 41, beautiful. This is going to be 74 strength and 93 combat. 108 can now attack us. All right, we are getting a new Slayer task from Neve. Oh, Jad. Jad task, beautiful. 59 Slayer. There we go, that should be the kill, beautiful. Thank you, 60 Slayer, beautiful. Let's just gamble escape real quickly. Yes. You're not lucky, never lucky. 60 Slayer, we can now kill the Aberrant Spectres right here. Very good for Herblore. 83 hit points. All right, let's end my misery. Give me tank legs. Sad. Thanks. Another Aram Staff, are you kidding me? I've got a three of these. It's so useless. I have three. I'm getting items, but I'm not getting good ones. Oh my god. This guy is getting high alt instantly. I don't care. 50k cash. Okay, another chest. Not another shit item. I'm getting so upset right now. I'm actually getting so upset. That's another dupe and another shit item. I have... Can I look at my collection log here somewhere? Three Derek Helms, the worst helm of them all. And three Iron Staffs. So... And before I forget, we high out this straight away. 50k. It is time for another quest, uh, Mr. Troll Stronghold. This quest is a requirement for so many quests, like five different very useful quests, so... Um, let's go. Why is there a scout bot here? And there we go, Troll Stronghold have been completed. Very easy quest, oh my god. So if I want to complete Desert Treasure, I'm gonna need 12 magic logs. Currently 73 wood cutting, so I'm gonna need a boost of plus two to get some magic logs from here. And I got two chances with the brown spice. First one, 74, we cannot shop. Good luck. No! And I'm back to my favorite basement, we are getting that magic log. Back at the magic tree, this is like our 10th attempt. Yes, we got, oh my god, we got it. Come on magic tree, come on! It's about to end. Our boost is about to end. We got 11 magic locks. We need 12. <gasps> Dragon impling outside. Come here, boy. 
Thank you, very nice. Uh, dragon bones, can we get that? Dragon daggers, okay. 100k high up. I kid you not, I went like 10 times to the basement for brown spices. I never got that boost besides that one time. So I felt like just leaving and kill some vampires. <gasps> oh my, g hello, the blood shard. I actually got the blood shard at uh, 315 wire watch kills. Now we just need a fury. All right, I now have the blood shard, and to make it in, into a blood fury, I need to make a fury. A casual 90 uh, crafting requirement. That's 21 levels. We're gonna have so much fun. So, I have made the calculations here. I need 2.5 million experience to get 85 crafting, so I can boost up to make a fury. And that divided by 75 means I need 33,900 flex. To get 85 crafting, let's just start picking 3rd to 4,000 flags up. I'm gonna have plenty of fun here. I'm not gonna lie, I got sick of picking flags, so I'm at Barrows. And I get nothing. 5 more brown spice chances. Like this is the last time, I, I, I'm not coming back. Alright, this is my last brown spice. Oh, please Jagex, please. Yes! Come on, give me one log. Yes, we did it, we did it. We can do, we can do this a treasure. There we go, first diamond, smoke diamond have been completed. Easy game. Uh, three diamonds to go. Oh my god. We got it so quick. Yes, okay, hey, bye. Thank you, took me five, five lockpicks. <laughs> Thank you. To be fair, I am 90 thieving, so it should have been faster even. That was pretty slow to be honest. Oh, that was easy. Another diamond. There we go, another diamond. All right, is the scout bot still up here? Level 20 scout bot is still here. We got the diamond, we got the final diamond, let's go. We got all the diamonds, let's put them at the pyramid and complete the quest. PPP hard crime man, panic tap. <laughs> oh my God, we have completed the quest. And there we go, Desert Treasure has been completed. I did a voiceover here because I do apparently say have instead of has a lot. But Ancient Spellbook has been unlocked. And you know what that means? Many teleport freezes. Freezes are huge for this account. And with that being said, we're gonna do an experiment here. If you do like ice cream, leave this video a like. And we're gonna see how many of you, my viewers like ice cream. So I'll see you guys in one week. Goodbye. And of course, the bounty have increased by 13 mil, plus 68 mil, plus 3 mil, plus 30 mil, plus 5 mil, plus 100 mil, plus 400 mil, putting the bounty at 12 billion 447 million. Uh, this guy wants me to say Buster sucks as I accept this 400 mil, so thank you. Hello! It's time for me to once again inject you guys with some Swedish culture. And today, we got some special here. We got the Swedish smörgåstårta in English, that means sandwich cake. This dish is normally eaten on midsummer, but it's served the entire year in Sweden. The easiest way to find and try smörgåstårta is by visiting your local supermarket. Normally this dish includes raw salmon, shrimps, boiled eggs, mayonnaise, bread and fish eggs, but it is very common to experiment and put basically anything you want on the smörgåstårta. If you ever come to Sweden, this is a dish I do recommend you trying. Sandwich cake. Skål! Mm. Mm. Yes. Mm. Very delicious.